Hey guys, how is everybody doing? <sighs> I haven't been really filming much. I didn't upload yesterday because I've been putting so much up about makeup. And I know that you guys probably are sick of it, but that's what I like to do, so that's why. But I've been working on a vlog, so. That will actually be coming very soon, but today I thought while I get ready that I would just talk to you guys and see what everybody's been up to. So, me, personally, I haven't really been doing much. Nope, same old, same old. I'm just waiting for the weather to get warm or warmer. That way I can, um, be able to go out and do more with my kids. So, that'll be fun. I think we're going to the circus this weekend, maybe? Not positively sure on that, but I know it's soon. So, yeah, I think that'll be very interesting. <laughs> I haven't been to the circus in a long time. So, I'm definitely excited to see how that goes. I tease my kids and tell them that I'm going to leave them in the circus. They're going to be like learning how to do circus acts. It's funny, Pilate really gets mad. Although I'm teasing her. She takes things to heart sometimes. But she's so cute, you guys. Do you know what she said yesterday? This is so funny. We were on our way home. We went to go visit my grandparents. And... Kylie, you know, about the time we got back in Lancaster, Kylie's like, I'm lucky to have you, Mommy. And I was like, well, that's sweet. I said, you know, Kylie, I'm the lucky one to have you. And she said, Mommy, I feel bad for Siri. You know, Siri, like on the iPhone. And I was like, why? And she said, because she doesn't have a Mommy. And I was like, okay, well, how do you know that? And she said, because I asked her and she said, all I need is you. <laughs> oh, so Kylie doesn't think that Siri has a mommy, which is so funny to me. And I tried to explain to her the best that I can that Siri is just like a programmed, you know, voice. It's a real woman that speaks for Siri, but if you look online or on YouTube, you can look it up and say like, who's the voice for Siri and it'll show the lady that does it. And it's really cool because like when you hear her talk, you can tell that it, you know, it's definitely Siri. I just thought that was so cute that she's so sweet. But anyway, cutie, 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 cutie pie, my kid. I'm just trying to pull myself together a little bit because I just feel awful. I feel like I look like complete garbage, which I know you guys are thinking, yeah, that's probably because you do. So, well, I decided I would go ahead and make a little video, a little chit chat while I get ready and see what everybody was up to. So that's what I did. I'm debating on how I'm gonna do my um, YouTube lives. I know that they're probably gonna be on Saturdays or Sundays, I'm not sure. I'll have to get back to you guys on that one because I just, I don't know yet. But I'm trying to, form more of a schedule with my videos. That way, like on Mondays, you guys will have a get ready with me. And then maybe Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'll have a vlog up. And then like Thursday, we can do like a chat with me, eat with me if you want to. And Fridays will probably be my day off. And then Saturdays will probably do like the, um, like I said, the YouTube live and catch up from everything that happened on Friday. 
it even, you know, though I won't be putting anything up on Friday, doesn't mean that I won't be making videos because I do like to have some stuff pre-recorded. That way I can just go ahead and edit it and put it up. I don't have to worry about like, oh no, it's already four o'clock and I have no vlog up or, you know, video. So to be honest with you guys, this was probably filmed like the day before I put it up. So that's probably the way I'm gonna do things, but I am gonna have a schedule and I'm gonna do my best to keep to that schedule and try and keep you guys updated and informed and just, you know, try to be on time with everything, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. And if it doesn't, then let me know what doesn't make sense and I'll try and clear that up. But, yep, I'm just getting my makeup done. Just doing my makeup. I'm wondering what I'm gonna do for dinner and how I'm gonna get my house cleaned before. It's time to bath the kids. I swear this time change has me all messed up. It's got me all messed up with someone else. Because I just can't seem to get it together. Like before the time change, I was had my kids in bed at like eight o'clock on the dot. Baths were done. Dinner was done. And now I just feel like since the time change, it's like nine o'clock <laughs> is the time that everything is getting done. And sometimes it's like even 9.30 or 10 and I'm like, goodness gracious, what am I gonna do? So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been battling is trying to figure out how to get through the stinking time change and get things back on track because it's absolutely annoying Annoying, annoying, annoying. So, I've been trying to debate on what I'm going to cook. I don't know. And the kids, Kylie's like, I don't care. But the moment I make something, she doesn't want it. She's like, ew. She doesn't like cheese. Sorry about the clicking, my... There we go. Okay, she doesn't like cheese. Like, you know, like American cheese. But she'll eat cheese on pizza. And she'll eat like the cheese and cracker snacks. And I'm like, really? Kylie's favorite thing to do is to go to Kroger and go to Starbucks. She gets a um, caramel frappe, but she doesn't know that there's no caffeine in it. So, you know how um, the caramel frappes are usually like a like really light brown coffee looking color? Well, Kylie's are just like white. It almost looks like a pina colada, to be honest. So. But I, I tasted it. It's actually really good. It's actually really good without the coffee it's i don't i don't think there's much of a difference you just can't don't have that caffeine taste but you yeah, know i'm not gonna shove a bunch of caffeine down my kids throat heck no not good for her so i just tell the woman working just like hey no caffeine in this and they're really good about it they're really good about making sure that there's nothing, you know, that would harm Kylie in it. Cause they do know it's for her, so. Yeah, I gotta look out for my baby. But she just thinks she's a big shot walking through Kroger's with her um, Starbucks. That cutest thing. <laughs> that kid just cracks me up. Crackers me up, you guys. Cracks me up. <sighs> I've just been having such an off week. 
like every time I go to make a video, I'm just like, something's not right here. <laughs> like I'm just acting off. And I feel like it's noticeable. I don't know if it's noticeable or not, but I feel like it's definitely noticeable. So, can you guys tell at all that I seem like a little off? I feel it. But it may just be me. I don't know. I swear, eyeshadow takes like the longest. This is a blend and blend, blend, blend. I just get so bored. I wish somebody would come visit me. Come visit me, guys. Come visit me. Anyone. I'm gonna finish up my eyes, you guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got me, I got my um, eyeshadow done. Oh, now I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows up just a tad. Cause God knows. I can't hurt these guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in too much detail today with my eyebrows because I don't care. No matter what I do, I can never get them to match, ever. No matter what I do. Doesn't matter. Like I said, they're like distant neighbors. <laughs> yeah, they are all kinds of messed up. All right, let's go in with our foundation. I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder since I finally got restocked on this bad boy. I was pleasantly surprised to see that they now provide you with a pump. That is amazing. I like that. I feel like it's not wasting nearly as much product and you're getting more use out of your, out of your product in general, if you know what I mean. This is definitely like my all time favorite. Foundation, everyone knows it. Anyone that knows me knows that my favorite foundation is my Estee Lauder. It just is, it just is. I've used this for about four, almost four years now. And I still love it. There's just something about that Estee Lauder smell, you know what I mean? When I don't use it for a while and I put it on, I just think, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's what I know. And the finish, you guys, is unreal. I'm always amazed, and I've used this for years. And I'm always like struck, struck in at the fact that this formula and coverage and the way that it's such a, you know, medium to full coverage foundation and how it just literally melts in to my skin hold on a minute all right you guys i got my foundation applied and now i'm going to go ahead and bronze and the main purpose of this particular video 
is to show you guys how to, um, oh, where's my brush I'm looking for? How to get a decent contour. I'm not a professional makeup artist. <laughs> And I just know what I know from, you know, learning on my own, learning from other YouTubers, and you know what I mean. Right now I'm just bronzing a little bit, getting a little bit of color back into my skin. Ooh, I can really see that bronzer in the camera. Really, 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 really bronzy. Okay, now for contour. I'm gonna go ahead and use my CoverFX palette again that we got in BoxyCharm because I know a lot of you girls probably get BoxyCharm and you got that this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and show you guys what I do. Okay, this is where I always start. As you can see, like when your face goes down, it goes down and around. So down and around. So pretty much right here where this little weird floppy thing is in your ear. That's where I like to start at this curve and go down right under the cheekbone. So let me get a brush. I'm gonna dip into my um, contour shade, tap it off, and I'm gonna start in the exact spot I showed you, right up here, right under the brow or the brow bone, the cheekbone. And you want to always make sure that you start back here and build it up and then feather it down because you don't want your contour to be really dark up front, but you want to get that illusion of the um, darkness, that sculpted look, kind of like a gradient, like you know how you do with your eyeshadow you go from darker to light. And I always follow my face structure, so I'll go back here and around, just like that. Just like that. And I never blend down. You guys always blend up. You don't wanna look like somebody threw mud at you and it's like sticking to your face. You just, you don't wanna do that. Okay, I'm going to lay that down and we're going to keep on blending, keep on working. I feel like I got a nice amount for what I like going on right now, so I'm just going to blend it. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I don't do this all the time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it in this video just to show you guys. Well, first I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my blending and you know, why not? I'm gonna deepen my contour up a little bit. If you ask why, because that's what I like to do. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and use my ear spun because that's what I have sitting in front of me. But if you really want to get down and dirty with your um, with your contouring, you can take any setting powder you have and you just put it right here, right underneath. That contour, just right here. Just like I just did. And we're gonna build it up. Build, build, build. See what I mean? Build it up and we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna let that bake. So for about five minutes, I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna let that bake. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my highlight brush and I'm gonna go ahead and get my highlight on. And sometimes I don't do highlight first, sometimes I do. I just feel like sometimes if you do your highlight last, it just lays on top of that blush and it just doesn't give you the 
the effect that you would like, like that perfect contour. So we're gonna go ahead and do our highlight. And I always start up here by my temple and I just work around to the tip of my jawbone and stop pretty much where my jawbone ends right here. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. that. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the other areas that I'm interested in highlighting. I like to highlight my cubic bow a little bit just to give it a little bit of a glow. And I also like to take some in the natural highlights of your face, like right above your brows. And add some there. You can add it to your chin. Give you like a more dewy effect to your makeup since my foundation is pretty matte or I'm a pretty oily skin person that's just what I like to do so you can do that you can do it your way but this is really about the contour not the highlight so we're gonna go ahead and let this bake Okay, you guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna sweep away that powder. And it just gives you a perfect line. It makes your contour look clean. It makes it look, you know, blended. It just gives it a nice clean effect instead of having like a big mess. Okay, and then usually what I do next is my blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the blush in the palette since everyone that gets boxy got that. So I'm gonna dip into my blush. I'm gonna smile like this and I'm gonna apply it to the balls of my cheek, the apples of your cheek, the perfect place for your blush. And then just blend it in. And up. So it's going to kind of lay on top of your um, your highlight instead of the other way around. It gives it a better, nice, cleaner look. Sometimes if you dip in a little bit too much, you can look like a circus clown. And that's exactly what I did on the ball of my cheek. As you can see, I got a little bit too much pigment right there. So I'm going to work that into my skin. Okay. And then we're gonna build our blush up slowly. And that's what I do, you guys, for my contour. And it's worked for me all this time. And again, it looks flawless. It just looks like a great, um, a great, 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 great contour. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. And if there's anything else that you would like me to show you or teach you or help you with, if I know, then, you know, just let me know and I will get on that as soon as possible. But I love you guys. I hope this helped and I hope you guys learned something. And until next time, bye guys. Guys, as I was working on the other side of my face, I decided that I would go ahead and just make this known. A very easy way to knock your curling iron off the table is just kick the cord. But a very easy way to bake is take your beauty blender. A sponge works way better than a brush when it comes to, see what I mean? It comes to baking, and that's usually what I use. But since my sponge wasn't sitting here, I just used what I had in front of me, but I just wanted to show you guys that, make it known that a sponge, just use a sponge if you have one, or one of the little wedges if you have one, and apply it with that, because you can get a lot more, and a brush, just, it, you won't, you get more payoff with your powder if you use the sponge versus a brush, but you can't use a brush, so it just depends on what you're going for, really. So I just thought I'd throw that in there really quick. <laughs> Nothing wrong with giving a girl a tip. So anyway, see you guys later. Bye.